Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about some of the enhancements that you can do in the Plotly charts. So if you have seen my couple of previous videos that I have uploaded in last two or three days, I have been talking about the Plotly charts, the different types of Plotly charts like the bar chart or the pie chart, scatter charts and then talked about how you can use it in Shiny and automate it. In today's video, the idea is that uh, let we'll take another step towards enhancing the chart and uh, basically I want to show you how you can add multiple charts, uh, multiple plotly charts on a single area. So that sometimes helps doing the comparison on a similar axis if you wanted to compare the multiple data points but want to have a different charts. As well as uh, along with that, I will show you some of the properties of the uh, of these charts about how you can beautify it with the help of the parameters. All right. So idea is that uh, we will going to use the subplot function, and subplot is basically helps us creating multiple plots within the same space. So that's the function that I'm using over here, the subplot. And as you can see, I am using the multiple plotly functions within the sub subplot separated by comma. So that basically indicates that it will going to create three different plotly chart but within the same space. And what we are doing is simplifying, uh, simply using the empty cards data set that I have been using in my previous videos so that we are maintaining consistency. And just providing some base parameters that is required for the plotly function that means the name of the data set as a first parameter what should be the x-axis so in this case cylinders this sign is important the tilde sign and then y parameter as miles per gallon mpg and name of the chart is default and then we are going ahead and adding the again the same parameters but we are beautifying the chart with the markers we are adding the marker as alpha is equals to 0.2 that means the transparency uh, what level of transparency we want you can change the parameter to 0.5 to be more transparent or less transparent based on the your requirements so you can increase and decrease and you can give the name up to the chart to anything here in this case i have just gone ahead with the alpha Third thing uh, is what I'm doing same parameters. So put so no change over here, but after these the sign the what we are doing is adding the marker. But in this case, we are adding the symbol. That means the symbol one, you can have anywhere between one to five, 25. So that according to that, the symbol name, the symbol will come on the chart and uh, name is basically hollow it's because i know it's a circle uh, or a you know blank circle just having the line of a circle and nothing inside it so hollow all right let's go ahead and execute this command so first of all import the library plotly and then let's enter this entire piece and zoom it so uh, in the first plotly so first of all we have these three plotly charts the first chart here we have the second one here we have the third one so that's the uh, good thing about the subplot that it helps us creating multiple charts on the same uh, space then uh, here we have the default values if we are not specifying any marker or anything like uh, what colors it should have what symbol or anything that is our default representation after this uh, we have specified alpha is equals to 0.2 so that's why as you can see that the color and the opacity level have been changed to 0.2 and finally in the last chart we are specifying symbol as a first symbol which is a circle or a blank circle what i would say or a hollow so Apart from this, as you can, as you already know from previous videos, you have all these different parameters for doing slicing and dicing and and you can basically, you know, compare in this way. And if you want to come back to the axis, reset axis.
So that's that's a beautiful part that uh, on the same space you have three different charts and you can slice and dice in a different way. Like I just want to slice this, slice this, and slice this. In this way, I can compare multiple uh, charts on the same space. That's generally a uh, uh, beautiful thing to do when you are analyzing the data. All right, let's close this and move ahead with the multiple charts for better representation. I have done nothing but uh, I am showing you the 25 different symbol here in the plotly. So what we are doing is on the x axis we are plotting 1 to 25, on y axis we are plotting 1 to 25 so it's a straightforward chart. And then using the symbol 1 to 25 based on the 1 to 25 values is specified for the y axis. And here in the second chart we are specifying simple commands that I have been specifying and then I am giving the symbol as the name of the column. That's also you can do uh, when you are specifying the symbol and we are saying symbol 1 to 3 and I think that's why 3 is the gear, 3 gears that we usually have uh, uh, that we are having in the MD cards data set. So let's go ahead and run this. Control enter all right so these are the first of all 25 symbols that you have this way you can basically know what symbol you really need uh, for your charting next thing uh, we have the gear and uh, three for three different gears three different symbols have been used so you have chart has used the triangle, the plus sign, and the circle. But what is not very clear is uh, what plus indicates. I know the data, and that's why I think it is a uh, gear eight, and this is gear four, or the least gear and the maximum gear. But that's not how we usually interpret. We should have some clear representation. So you have two ways of doing that. First of all, having the gear information as a part of text so if you have seen the previous videos you know that we have a text parameter and what you can do is add text as a gear and if i run the function again control enter what now i will be able to know that okay this is the value 15 and 35 is basically for x and y and then 5 is the gear that I have and here in this case 4 in case of circle it is 3 that 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 is uh, one way of doing it another way of doing it is uh, I have it down there where I am using the factor function to specifying the gear values as part of legends so if I can simply go ahead that's the only change between the this command and this command. I press Control Enter and zoom. And circle three gear. This uh, green, the color have been changed because we have specified factor. So triangle in green, uh, triangle in green is four gear, and the red plus sign is basically indicating five gear. So with the help of the factor, the representation and the color have been changed. All right, the one last thing I want to show you is dividing the process. So that is very basic of R. What we are trying to do over here is we are storing the base command. That means the same one command that will not going to change during the entire process into an object, which is P. So what we are saying that, hey, go ahead and store this basic functionality where we are specifying mpg and x-axis, y-axis and alpha in the object. And then after that if you want to add any other parameters or a different parameters for our different requirements then we can just go ahead and add the markers within the subplot function. So let's go ahead and do that. So control enter. And within the subplot we are saying that, that for the first plot go ahead and uh, use the symbol as cyl. And for the second plot, 
may use the symbol as a factor of CYL and name is uh, a single trace in this case and the second kind of parameter you want to specify color as black. So control enter and here we have the two different charts. So in that way you don't have to specify the plotly command again and again along with that markers like we have specified I think above somewhere that uh, along with the plotly we are specifying mark markers and uh, that is the process that has been simplified over here and you can clearly see the difference that you have both the charts but they are different in the way they represent the data or their own representation so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk in this video now as I've been asking you for the exercise perspective that first of all you can definitely use your own data sets for doing the exercises that's the best way of doing it but another thing which I really really encourage is to use the shiny if you have seen my very first video part one that basically shows how you can utilize the commands these plotly commands in shiny and that's the base and if you follow that you can automate this entire process into the shiny as well as you can automate all of these different parameters if you have seen my uh, core shiny videos which indicates how you can basically tune all these different parameters if you have not seen i really recommend that you go and see that playlist i have it in my channel and uh, that will really help you to understand how you can enhance further enhance and make it very very interactive for the end user so that that's all i want to talk and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic